This colonel applauds her for her concern, appreciates her diligence, but says that such plots are, quote, totally imaginative. This analyst, growing impatient in an email, writes, I utterly refute that the scenario is imaginary because the Hamas training exercise, she said, fully matched, quote, the content of Jericho Wall. It is a plan designed to start a war, she said. It's not just a raid on a village. Think about this for a moment. They knew the attacks. They had the document. Everything is written in black and white. They knew where the drills were being held. They knew the scale of devastation that the attack would cause. What they cry about is security. All these top officials had to do was press one button or place one call to send a team to raid and investigate. They already raid everything else. They could have sent the team to go and investigate and el eliminate and neutralize these serious security risks. But they didn't. They did nothing. Compare that to this. <laughs> What Zionist Jews did to a, pa a poor Palestinian woman, Yasmin Qadura, and how they converged upon her home with, in armored vehicles, with armored personnel, with, bearing military-grade weapons, came upon her home and charged her on the spot with supporting or sympathizing with terrorism only because her WhatsApp status read, May Allah grant them victory. So the WhatsApp status of a Palestinian woman, that's a legitimate security risk. Militants conducting operation drills, leaked documents of a known terror terrorist group mapping an attack, totally imaginative. Sympathizers of terrorists are apprehended, but the terrorists themselves, they're not to be touched. This is because Hamas is a torch with a protected flame, safeguarded by the Zionist state itself, used to sear and scorch Palestine and Palestinians to a cinder. Surprise attack, caught by surprise, real or simulated.